Welcome back to the channel. Today I am working on the charger front subframe and I got everything that I need from Send Cut Send. So link is in the description. We have all the suspension pickup points, the last diff pickup point, as well as the last engine mounting pickup point. So they can do a bunch of different things. They bend, they cut metal with the laser CNC. They also tap, deburr. There is a bunch of stuff they do. It's really easy. All you do is submit your drawing to them online. They'll give you a quote, you order it, and within a few days to a week, you get your parts. So it is very quick, very, very convenient because I have issues all the time where I'm located at finding anybody to get work done and do this. So links in the description. If you're having the same issues that I usually have, just go on their website and you can get your parts within a few days to a week. So let's open this box. So I always love how they package everything. Nice. Ooh, they always give you a little snack. So Skittles or some kind of candy. But look at that. We have our bent pieces right here. We also have the plate for the tow hook and the front splash shield mounts. We have our diff mounting, electric power steering rack, clip mounting, rear suspension pickup points, front suspension pickup points, and then the other rear suspension pickup points in the last engine mount bracket. So let's get the subframe fixture back onto the table, get all of these tacked in, and we'll be one step closer to having this done. There'll be two more brackets that I'll have to have made, which is the rear, these rear splash shield mounts, and that will be it. And then I will remake this bar. So I'm gonna cut the tacks right here. So I was deciding, kind of made this decision after I made this piece of tube right here connect to the electric power steering rack mount. But what I'm gonna do is come off of this to here, make that a triangle, and then I'm going to just bend this so it comes directly into it. So then it'll just be pretty much parallel with that coming out. And then the same thing on this side, gonna do the same thing, triangle, and then come out, which will be really nice because I need to flare this out quite a bit more like I've said before. But let's get all of those brackets tacked into the subframe.
I was able to get all the brackets I got from Senkat Sen fitted and then tacked into the front subframe, as well as a bunch of the bar modified. So as you guys remember, this bar came straight here and I didn't want to leave it like that because this side, this bar had to come like this to fit around the differential. As you can see, I have this bracket here to show me clearance and anything that fits around it is going to clear the diff. The differential on that side is a lot wider. That's why I had to make this bar different, but I really like how this came out. It just comes around here, ties into this power steering rack location, and then it's just gonna make this really rigid. Also, since I did that, I ended up changing this and bending this one instead of going straight, and then it ties into the power steering rack mount. It's reinforced right here with the Y. Then that makes me not have to have a bar coming across here. And why that's important is because I'm gonna have to modify the oil pan and eventually, once I get the engine in there, I'll be able to stick the oil pan on there, cut it up, figure out how I'm gonna have to modify it. If it's too difficult to modify it, I'm just going to, I left enough room for the dry sump oil pan. I'll just order the dry sump oil pan and we'll just be completely dry sump, not have to worry about it, but I'll try to get it wet sump first. I eventually do wanna go dry sump, but for now, for simplicity's sake, I'm trying to just get this together in the car running and driving and you know we're trying to not overcomplicate it even though it is pretty complicated as it sits right now so i'm really happy with send cut send we got the front lower control arm brackets all tied in and i really think these look really great and they're going to work out very well another thing i'm going to tie this back into this bar just to give it a little bit more rigidity so i don't have any issues i don't think it needs it but it'll just be that extra little bit of support I need to send off the last set of files to send cut send for my lower control arms and for this front subframe, which it's just gonna be a few brackets for the lower control arms. And it's only gonna be a few brackets for this front subframe. Since I had to bend this bar over, I actually have to have them recut me these because now they're a little bit further and they're a little bit too short. And then on this side, I just need this last diff mounting bracket. Then back here, I just need the splash shield bracket. So I'm just gonna have probably a 45 coming up and then we'll tie that in and over there I'll do a 45 coming up and tie it in there which will be really nice because I should be able to drop the differential out of the bottom of the car without having to pull the engine which will be really nice I don't think the diff will ever blow up but if it does it'll be really easy to replace it so I'm really happy with how this is coming out I know it is taking a long time to fabricate all this but if you guys remember, I'm not just working on fabricating the front subframe. In the last video, I made the lower control arms for the rear of the car, which they came out really nice. I need to have these welded up. So since I don't have a TIG welder, I don't have a TIG welder anymore. I need to get one, but I'll have Hayden weld all this and uh, I don't really want to make it, but it's gonna, I really love how this came out. I can't wait to see this in gloss black powder coat with the engine with the engine mounts in the charger with the engine in the car with actually not even with the engine in the car with like the differential the drive shaft and all that stuff on uh, the axles all the stuff in the lower the steering rack everything in the back it's going to look awesome even before the engine gets in there but i'm going to end the video here really love how this is turning out i think it's going to be a nice nice piece oh i also forgot to mention i tied in the power steering rack wiring location. I think that came out really nice. And uh, I just did a 45 right there, got it from Send Cut Send. All this stuff is really simple. Before I end the video, if you guys haven't checked out Send Cut Send, I have a link in the description. Go check them out, it's very convenient. I mean, all this stuff is just really easy. You just send off the files, you get the product back, you pretty much just bolt it in, tack it in, and then weld it. As long as your measurements and designing is good, especially if you're doing some stuff that all slip fits together and you can build everything in CAD. If I had a 3D scanner, it'd be really easy to make this, send off all the files, but I don't have any of the pickup points for the tubing in CAD. So that's that's kind of an issue. It's been really nice working with Send Cut Send. So just check out their website. If you need anything cut or bent, check them out. Link is in the description, but I'm gonna end the video here. If you like these videos, make sure to click that subscribe button, throw a thumbs up, throw a comment below. As always, see you guys next time.